What's up, guys? Welcome into a very special edition of Film Room Draft Day Edition. The Chargers select Zion Johnson, number 17 overall, out of Boston College. Couldn't be more pleased to be joined by the great Charles Davis of NFL Network, busy in Las Vegas. And Charles, before we get into some of these plays, uh, your overall reaction to Zion being selected by the Chargers? Well, my first thought was that's a terrific selection for them. And, and I was a little bit surprised only because I thought that a, a pure tackle, if, if there was a possibility of going there, that might be the spot. But at the same time, rankings on your draft board, play, versatility. And by the way, guard was not exactly not a need. <laughs> so, yep. so, so that fits in a big way. And they did such a nice job in free agency taking care of the defensive front that I thought this was a great time for them to go on the offensive side of the ball and help there because the right side of the offensive line, they felt like that's where the concentration would be. The guys battled hard, Michael Schofield, Storm Norton. But if you're going to make a move, if you're going to try and upgrade, I thought that's where it would be. And right away, you've, you've, you've integrated a right guard to start off by picking Zion Johnson. This is not one of those ones where in the old days, hey, we drafted Zion Johnson. He's our third team guard until he proves himself. No, he runs with the ones day one. Yeah, he, he's plug and play. Chargers go back to back in the first round offensive lineman. You mentioned Slater and now Zion. And we got some plays here. Let's fire up this first one and we'll see Zion in action here at BC. That'd be him number 77 in the white jersey. I take a look at him and watch how he comes off the ball. His assignment is to get up to the second level and get to the linebacker. You notice how the linebacker starts on in frame, and by the time this play is over, both of them are out of frame because Zion Johnson <laughs> is locked on, latched on, and look at him using the feet, driving. And you need to see those short, choppy steps. When offensive linemen are getting really long with their steps, they're usually falling off of blocks. But he's inside, both hands, short, choppy steps, drive, finishing it up, what a lot of the offensive line, a lot of offensive line coaches call the strain. There's the initial contact. The strain is staying with that lot, staying with that uh, defender and taking him out of the play. Charles, before we get to this next play, Zion was a, a zero star recruit. He didn't start playing football till his junior year of high school. So to see what he's done, the jump from high school to Davidson, to Boston College, to the first round of the NFL, uh, I feel like there's still a lot more to, to see from oh, Zion. There's a lot more to unpack, but the beauty of it all is, at Davidson, they were one double A or what you call football championship subdivision, but non-scholarship. That's a whole different ball game. That's oh, not yeah. even, that's not North Dakota State, Montana State. That's not the Missouri Valley folks. Okay. This is non <laughs> non-scholarship. And he ended up playing so well there, bet on himself to go to a higher class of uh, classification of play. ACC is as good as it gets. And he goes out there and it becomes this guy. I'm with you. There's a lot more left for him. All right, here. What's next? Okay, here he is again at left guard, 77 in white. And now look at him going to cut off the backside defender. And I believe that's the nose on this play. Go, go all the way back. See the nose guard over the center? Zion Johnson allows the center to escape his assignment there, comes from his left guard position, and goes and cuts him off. But the beauty of it all is not, does he do, not only does he engage, but watch the front side. Now watch him turn. See how his hips go back to the sideline? That means he's gotten all the way around on the defender and has totally cut him off from the play. Left side gets engaged first, allows him to run his feet around, get his backside to the sideline, and now he's got full control. That is not easily done. A cutoff block on a nose, which allows his center to get off and get off to the next level. See the center, 72? Now he climbs and allows the running back extra yardage because Zion Johnson has the quickness off the snap to get engaged with the nose to his right. That's one person away from where Zion Johnson was lined up. Fantastic. Brian, what's the next play here? All right, Johnson again at left guard. Now he's in the maroon, and now he's doing a little combo, all right? He's got to handle two on this one because they're doing a game up front. Watch the defensive lineman. They're going to rush at him and then try and loop, loop around another lineman. He sees the first with contact, catches the second one, and clears the lane for his quarterback to throw a strike downfield. That's excellent awareness, strength, and agility. Now it also shows off the mind, because 
offensive linemen have to think the game as much as they have to hit people. And he manages to not only hit two, but think his way into hitting the proper second guy in order to clear the way for his quarterback. Because that game they played up front, that should allow for what we call a free runner, right, coming to the quarterback. Watch yeah. how that lineman loops around. He's supposed to be running free at the QB. Instead, Zion Johnson knocks him into another offensive lineman and defensive player. And the quarterback's able to step up into the pocket, clear sight lines. Nice ball there, by the way. Those last two plays, I, I think of Austin Eckler in the backfield, and I think of Justin Herbert throwing the ball around uh, Keenan Allen and Mike Williams and now Gerald Everett. Uh, th they've had a flashy offseason, but this is just meat and potatoes pick. And, and this is a pick that I think can maybe get them over the hump to get into the playoffs and maybe make some noise. I agree. And, and, and just take that last play, for example, because – you have confidence in a lineman like Johnson to do those things. Now Austin Eckler just is scat, scat protection all the time. Scat protection means you can get him out of the back and get him to the pass wrap. What do you want to do with Austin Eckler? Do you want to throw the ball to him? Or do you want to keep him in there to try and chip on a chip on a defensive lineman and keep your quarterback upright? See, when you have plays like that, that changes what you're doing in the backfield. Now you're playing totally to the strength of your players. All right, we got a couple more plays here. What's next? Yeah, and left guard in the white just simply just runs in past the quarterback. You know, sometimes it's just the simple stuff, Chris. It's, it's, sometimes it's not just, hey, he, 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 you know, he pancaked that guy, right? He got out in the open field and he hit two guys. He climbed to the second level and took out that. No, sometimes it's just simply, here's a speed rusher, and you're just going to take him. He wants to get upfield and run the loop. Okay, I'll just make you run farther. And guess what? You're going to run behind my quarterback, and that allows my quarterback a chance. Now, the play was impeded by el elsewhere, but Zion Johnson had it all under control because watch how he and the left tackle, just, they just kind of work in tandem there. And if you want to run speed and run the hoop, fine, but I'm going to make you run it farther, which means you're not going to get to my quarterback. It's just a smart play. And by the way, you don't have to exert any more than you need to. Just take, take care of business, and he did it right there. No question. All right. I think this is the last play. What do we got here? Okay. Again, at left guard in the dark uniform. And now, you, you know, this is, this is the part that people just love. There's a word to use all the time with offensive linemen when they're doing a nice job. It's called staying square. Watch how he stays square to the line of scrimmage to start, but he goes to cut off because the play is supposed to go to the right side. Mm. You remember that cutoff block we showed earlier? Yeah. where he got and got his hips turned and his backside to the line of script to the to the sideline. It's the same thing here, except it's with the defensive lineman who's lined up over him. Watch his first step, his first step with his right foot. All right, see how he gets it. Now look at him turn. Well, the well, the running back actually ran himself into trouble because instead of going where it's supposed to go and staying there and just pressing the run. He's going to get all jukey, and I'm going to come back to the backside. Uh, we blocked it that way. Mm. Now you run into a lot of white shirts. So I think people watching that tape would say, well, um, that guy got smothered. You know, he got smothered because the play was supposed to go right. Johnson and his crew blocked it that way and did a nice job with the footwork. And again, turning his body so the defender is shielded, and the running back came back into where the traffic was. Charles, you know, the, these players, they can't control where they get drafted, but some get put into better situations than others. And one of the things I talked to Zion about last night was just the fact that he gets to learn from Corey Lindsley and Matt Filer and Rashawn Slater, who was in this exact same position last year. Um, what's it going to mean for Zion, who's already a highly intelligent player, to get that tutelage from guys like Lindsley and Slater and Filer? It's going to mean everything, Chris, and especially in the room, which has become our popular in vogue topic, right? The quarterback room, the running back room, the offensive lineman room, because that's where you spend the bulk of your time. That's where you spend the time with each other. That's where you, 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 you become a, 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 an offensive line that has continuity. That's what you're searching for. And it's so hard to get. And Chris, you know, it's harder nowadays than ever with free agency and how we move around. When I was a kid, the good teams, you could name their offensive lines, you could name their starting lineups for essentially five straight years. Yeah. Because 
once they hit it, it stayed that way. Well, I'm not blaming anything or what have you. It's just different now. So you got to create that continuity even faster. That's why a lot of the offensive linemen have that night out during the week where they go to have dinner with each other and just spend that time because they want to be able to think and understand each other without it being verbal. It's a great fit. We're, uh, we're thrilled to have Zion in L.A. and we're thrilled to have Charles Davis in the film room with us on such a busy weekend. My only request, Charles, keep DJ in line in Vegas, will you? Seriously, you're asking, you know, you're asking me to do the impossible. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I appreciate you having me on today. I know this is what DJ does and he does it so well. And I learn from him every time I sit next to him. Um, I know I'm not really filling his seat, but we gave it a chance. We, we, we tried to keep it at least warm till he gets back and he's back there with you guys. But thanks a bunch. And we're all excited to see this this, this fall because the AFC West is the hot division right now. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And Zion Johnson helps give the Chargers a chance to get to the playoffs and beyond now. Charles, you were the best of the best. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. You take care of yourself. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.